This video demonstrates how you will integrate Sendinblue with Bitform. Select any existing form or create any form to integrate with Sendinblue. Here we have selected a form that we have created before. We can see that responses page is empty now. Now navigate to form setting and go to integration option. To create an integration click on the new integration button and then select send and blow. Here you have to set an integration name. If you have already API key version 3, you can paste it here. To get new API key, go to API console. Link in the description. Now click Authorize button, then click on Next button. After successful authorization, select your Send and Blow lists, you can select multiple list. Then here you can see the Send and Blow field. Email is mandatory field in Send and Blow. You can add more fields. When you enable the action update Send and Blow, you can update existing email information in Send and Blow. Then click on Next. Then click on Finish and Save button. Here we can see the newly created integration. Now navigate to the Conditionals Logics tab. Here you can trigger any integration by setting conditions by your choice. To know more about Conditional Logics, watch our video about Conditional Logics link in the description click on record create slash edit from action run when section if want to run when a record creates or edits then check on form submit from the action effect section then click on always from the action behavior section if you want to run always without any condition then click on integration and select the integration name Now update your form by clicking the update button. Now go to the front end of your selected form and type some informations. Click on save button to submit the data. After a successful submission, go to form responses. Here you can view the submitted data. Also, check your send and blow list. For updating any informations, click on Edit from Responses Details. Now click on Update. You can also view the update directly from send and blow contact. Then view the success API from timeline of Bitform. Thanks for watching.